In this video, we'll work through an example of an interest problem involving linear equations. So here's the problem. A bank loaned out $12,000, part of it at the rate of 8% per year, and the rest of it at a rate of 18% per year. If the interest received totaled $1,000, how much was loaned at 8%? So the first thing we need to know is that the formula for interest is I equals PRT. So I is the amount of interest, P is the principal, in other words, the initial investment, R is the interest rate, expressed as a decimal, so 8% is going to look like 0 0.08. And then T is the time. And in this case, we're, our time frame is going to be one year. So we loaned out $12,000, and then the interest that we get at the end of the year is $1,000. But we're getting interest from two different sources. We get interest from the 8% investment. But we're also going to get interest from the 18% investment, which is also going to look like I equals PRT. And our total interest is going to be the sum of these two sources of interest. So what was our principal for the 8% investment? Well, that's what the question is asking us. They're asking us how much of this $12,000 was invested at 8%. So the principal for the 8% investment is our unknown, which we'll call X. Our interest rate, since it was an 8% investment, we know that's going to be 0.08. And then, as I mentioned, our time frame is going to be one year. So that's just 0.08 times x. What about for the other investment? Well, if we invested x dollars at 8% interest, and we have a total of $12,000, then the amount that we invested at 18% is going to be 12,000 minus x. Both of these pieces together need to add up to $12,000. So if one of them is x, then the other one has to be 12,000 minus x. The interest rate is 0.18, 18%, and then our time frame are, is again one year. When we multiply that out, we get 2160 minus 0.18x. Now we want to add that together, so our total interest was $1,000. And that's going to be the sum of these two quantities. It's going to be 0.08x plus 2160 minus 0.18x. Let's simplify the right-hand side. Oops, I forgot my x there. 0.08x. Simplify the right-hand side. 0.08x minus 0.18x is going to be negative 0.10x. And then we still have plus 2160 and still have 1,000 on the left-hand side. Let's subtract 2160 from both sides. On the right-hand side, those cancel. On the left-hand side, we get negative 1160 equals negative 0.10x. Divide both sides by negative 0.10. Oh, on the right-hand side, the negative 0.10 is divided out. And when we throw negative 1160 divided by negative 0.1 into our calculators, what we get is that x equals 11,600. And we know our units here are dollars, because remember x was how much of our initial investment we put into the 8% investment. And so what that tells us is that we put $11,600 into the 8% investment. And they didn't ask us this, but we can certainly figure out that that means that only $400 went into the 18% investment.